What's up Deckers? So in today's video we're going to be going over our top 10 AAA games for the Steam Deck. In this video we're going to be showcasing awesome games like Doom Eternal, The Callisto Protocol and more. We'll be going over how the game performs in our recommended settings so if that's something you guys are interested in hit the like button subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this video. So the first game on the list is God of War. God of War is a verified game on the Steam Deck. To get the best performance with this game on the deck I had to set most of my settings to original which is equivalent to medium settings. I also had to lock the FPS at 40 FPS. With these settings God of War held a consistent 40 FPS throughout most of my gameplay session. There are areas where this game struggled to maintain a solid 40 FPS like intense fight scenes or buzz battles. In these situations if you want a more consistent frame rate I would recommend setting the graphics to low and capping it at 40 FPS. Also if you're comfortable playing this one at 30 FPS you can definitely lock it at 30 and get me medium consistently as well. Next game on the list is Final Fantasy 7 Remake Integrated. This is another verified game for the Steam Deck. The bummer with this game is that there's not a lot of graphical settings when it comes to the game on deck. You have high and low with textures and shadow. You also get to set the frame rate here. To get the best performance in deck I had to set the game cap at 60 FPS and then I had to lock the Steam Deck at 40 FPS. I also had all the graphical settings set at high as well. With these settings the game held to 40 FPS most of the times. There were occasions where it did below 40 but most of the time it did a good job maintaining 40. Just have to let you guys know there's an issue with this game where the visuals become blurry. But there's a fix to this you can download the mod and we have a video showcasing how you can do that. So check that out if that's something you guys were interested in. Next game on the list is Resident Evil 7 Village. This is a playable game on the Steam Deck. You also don't need any special proton to run this game. For graphical settings I have the frame rate set at 60 FPS and FSR 1 on quality. I also have the texture quality on high and most of the effects turned on. This game does a great job maintaining 60 FPS throughout the majority of the gameplay. If you want a consistent frame rate with this game though, you can definitely lock this one at 40 with high textures and you'll be fine. Capcom has done an incredible job with the Resident Evil engine and here in the Steam Deck it does not disappoint. The gameplay is really smooth and if you're into Resident Evil, would highly recommend that you check this one out. The next game on the list is Marvel Spider-Man Remastered. Marvel Spider-Man Remastered is another verified game on the Steam Deck. For this one I have FSR 2.1 turned on in the display setting and for my graphical setting I had a medium preset. I also turned the shadow quality low and most of the effects are turned on. This game hovers over 30 FPS for most of my gameplay. If you want a better experience I would recommend locking this one at 30 FPS. Swinging around New York City Spider-Man is gorgeous. This is another awesome PC port from Sony so if you're into Spider-Man would highly recommend that you give this one a look. The next game on the list is Red Dead Redemption 2. This is a playable game on the Steam Deck. For this one I have VSync turned on. I have the preset set on Ultra here. You have to be careful with this one because there's a lot of Ultra presets. But for mine I chose the one that had a medium light and quality setting. Now I also like the Steam Deck at 40 FPS. And with these settings this game does a good job maintaining 40 FPS throughout my playthrough. This game also has a launcher like you saw in the beginning of this video but it's not too intrusive. You don't need a special proton to boot this game up and I haven't tried the online portion of this game but from what I'm hearing people seem to be having difficulties playing this one online. I am drawn into the story for this game and at this point I don't need the online but if the online portion is something that you're interested in maybe do some research about this one. The next game on my list is Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal is probably one of the best optimized games that I've seen yet on the deck. This is another verified game on the Steam Deck. No special proton needed to run this one. For my graphical settings I have most of my settings set to high and ultra. As you can see here in this game it easily maintains 60 FPS with all the chaos that goes on in this game. This is a game that I've completed on my Steam Deck and I have to say it was a fantastic experience. If you love fast paced first person shooter and don't mind gore definitely give this one a look. The next game on my list is Cyberpunk 2077. This game also has a launcher when starting the game but it's not intrusive you can just skip it. You don't need to run a special proton to get this one working. I believe this is also a verified game on deck. For my graphical settings I have motion blur turned on and most of my graphical settings is set on medium here. I use the in-game FPS to lock this one at 40 FPS. With Cyberpunk this runs great on deck. 
When you're in enclosed setting, it does a good job maintaining 40 FPS. Also, when you're outside the night city, it does dip below 40 FPS, but most of the time it does a good job holding 40 FPS, even night city. CD Projekt Red has been doing a great job updating this game, and the recent update brought some stability to the performance on the Steam Deck. Next game on the list is The Witcher 3. The Witcher 3 is another verified game for the Steam Deck. This game recently got a next gen patch which complicates things a little bit when it comes to performance but it improves the game a lot as a whole. With the next gen update, I ran this game at DirectX 12. I have FSR 2 turned on to quality and I had a medium preset. This game also has a launcher when you start in the game, but it's not too intrusive. With the next gen update, it beefs this game up and gives you another reason to jump back in the Witcher universe. The next game on my list is the Callisto Protocol. This is another playable game on the Steam Deck. No special Proton needed to run this one. For my settings, I had FSR 2 set in balance and the rest of my graphical settings set in medium. With this game, I had to lock it at 30 FPS to get a consistent frame rate. But even with it being locked at 30, there still dips below 30 when things get really busy. When this game first launched, the frame rate was very inconsistent and there were stutter problems. But I feel like the devs has done a good job to improve the performance of a whole with the latest update. My experience with this game has been quite enjoyable. It's definitely not Dead Space, but it's definitely not bad either. The next game on my list is the Elden Ring. This is a verified game on the Steam Deck. Also for this one, you don't need a special Proton this one just launches. For my graphical settings, I had a medium preset set here and I locked this one at 30 FPS. With this, I was able to get a consistent 30 FPS with most of my playthrough. Of course, there are times during boss battles that I did below 30, but this one held up pretty well. I have to say out of all the games in this list, this one is the biggest battery drain. For some reason, I get an hour, an hour and a half most playing this game when my battery is full and it just drains it completely. So just know if you plan on playing this one, definitely pack a battery pack with this. And this game's brilliant. And for this to hold 30 FPS and medium settings is a treat. I'm not a big Souls person, but I actually enjoy this game. Alright fellas, so that is our top 10 AAA list. Let us know in the comments below if you guys like this format of videos and if you guys are going to pick any of these games up based on these recommendations. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.